Let's look at some of the different properties of real numbers that we have here. The commutative property of addition basically says a plus b is equal to b plus a, and the commutative property of multiplication says a times b is equal to b times a. Notice that you have the same numbers here on left and right, but the order has changed. They've moved back and forth. I like to use the word move to help remind me when I have the commutative property. When someone commutes to work, they're moving from one location to another. Now I'd like to also illustrate the difference between a property and an example of the property. If I list 7 plus 4 equals 4 plus 7, that is an example of the commutative property instead of a plus b equals b plus a, but the property involves variables because when you use variables you're saying that it will apply no matter what numbers are substituted in. So again, example and property. Now, notice that addition and multiplication are commutative, but subtraction and division are not. For example, if I went and looked at 8 minus 5, that equals positive 3, and 5 minus 8 is not equal to positive 3, it's equal to negative 3. Whoops, one too many loop on my threes there. So basically, the point I want you to take home from this is that um, subtraction is not commutative. Now let's look at the associative property of addition and multiplication. Uh, here we're going to have three numbers. The associative property of addition says a plus b grouped together plus c is equal to a plus b plus c grouped together. Likewise, the associative property of multiplication says a times b multiplied together, then multiplied by c, is the same as a times the product of bc. Now here, when I'm dealing with the word associative, I like to think of the word group. Now, if you want to think about who you associate with, they're your closer friends. Here in the first problem, I have A and B are friends. They associate with each other, and C is being left out. Maybe that will help you remember that when there's parentheses here, you've got this associative property. The additive identity basically says a number A plus 0 is equal to A. Your identity is who you are, and if you add a, 0 to A, you get who you are. You get the A that you started with. I like to think of the word self anytime I have the word identity. Adding to retain one's own value, to retain yourself. With multiplication, I want to multiply by something to get yourself, and we're multiplying by 1. So 1 is the multiplicative identity. Inverse in mathematics always refers to undoing some operation, and the, if I want to add to undo, I want to add the opposite. So a plus negative a equals 0 represents the additive inverse. And likewise, if I want to multiply to undo something, I want to multiply by a reciprocal. So a times 1 over a equals 1 represents the multiplicative inverse. Now the distributive property is one that you're going to use throughout this class. If I have a times b plus c, that is equal to ab plus ac. In other words, the a out inside the parentheses multiplies by both things inside the parentheses. a times b, then a times c with the addition sign between them. Likewise, if there was a minus sign between the two numbers, there would be a minus sign between the two terms over there on the right. Now, I've got a problem here asking which property is illustrated, and this is a little bit of a tricky problem here, because you see parentheses and you want to say, ooh, this is the associative property. Um, but with the associative property, the order stays the same. 5xy, 5, oops, we don't have 5xy on the right. But if you think of this as 5 plus a blob or a grouping equals that same blob or grouping plus 5, you can see that they've moved or changed places. So this actually represents the commutative property of addition.